Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to do part two of working on our soft cover um, fabric, soft cover journal covers. Okay, today we're going to sew in the signatures. Now this is the one we put together um, on camera last time, and this is the one I already had finished. Um, this is the one we're going to be working with today, and the reason for that is with this dark color fabric, um, it's kind of hard for me to see where I poke my holes through, and I, I just I don't want to struggle on camera any more than I have to. Um, so we're going to work with this one today. I think it should be a little easier to work with on camera. Okay, what I'm going to do is, and I've already done this, is you cut a piece of cardstock the width of the spine of your cover that you've made. Okay, so I have that in there. It fits in there. Okay, that's what we're going to start with. Okay, that's going to be our template. Then I have my signature, one of my five signatures I've got right here. And I am going to mark it for the same height because I don't remember what the height measurement is. So I'm just going to cheat and mark it. Okay. So I want it to be the same height as my signatures. And I want it to be the width of my spine. I'm just going to cut this off camera right here. All right, got that. Now, I want to be able to know where to properly place all of my signatures when I glue them or glue them, sew them into my journal. Okay, so we're going to mark that out on this sort of like a grid. Okay, it's going to be our, our template. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I do have five signatures. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So, the First thing I'm going to mark is the center, which is right here. And I may need to lower you down so you can see what I'm working. What I'm working on. There we go. I think you should be able to see those marks now. My light's kind of reflecting there. There we go. Get that out of your eyes. Okay, so I've marked center. And then I want to give myself, oh, maybe quarter of an inch okay I don't want it to rub right against my cover so I marked quarter inch in here quarter inch in here and I've marked the middle okay that's only three signatures I need two more so I'm going to find the middle between this mark and this one okay that's two four six so one two three there we go there's the middle between those and here's the middle between those. So now I have five marks for all five of my signatures. Now I'm going to make the same marks down here at the bottom. And I could use my, my ruler and um, just line it all up on my ruler. But some of you don't have zero centering rulers. So I'm going to do it the long way around and mark everything out by hand. Okay, so now I have corresponding marks at the bottom. And now all I have to do is connect the dots. Now if you do have a zero centering ruler like this one, it's kind of nice because once you make one set of marks, you can just square up your ruler with your cardstock and just start drawing your lines. You don't have to mark it out a second time. That's okay. Alright, and one more line. Okay, now that is going to be the placement of our five signatures within our spine. Now, I like to do a five hole pamphlet stitch rather than a three. You know, a three would put you a hole here, one here, and one there. I like to do five where I add one between. Okay, and so, and that to me, that gives, um, you know, shorter spaces on your thread and it keeps things a little bit tighter. Okay, so I need five holes per signature. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do again, I like to do is find center. All right, and this is not quite eight inches, a little bit shorter. Center it up there. Okay, there's center. All right, again, I got that light shining down on my ruler, blinding you guys, I'm sure. Okay, and then I want to come in off the bottom come in right about here. That's a little over a quarter of an inch. OK, 
Okay, it's almost a half. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay, and then I need something between them. All right, and it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to mark it right about there. And I'll make a corresponding mark on the other side. Okay, so now I have five holes. Okay, and I need that carried throughout the whole the whole thing. And if you have a zero centering ruler like mine, you could just line up your lines in your ruler and just start marking. But again, some of you may not have that. So I'm going to mark it again down here so I can connect the dots. Okay, and a mark here and there. Okay, now I can just connect the dots. There's one, two, and three. And four. And five, okay? So now we have a grid. All right, now every one of these intersections is going to be where we are poking a hole through our spine. Okay, so that corresponds with the one, two, three, four, five holes for that signature. Okay, and the one, two, three, four, five holes for the next signature and so on. Okay, so every one of these intersections is we're gonna punch a hole in our spine of our book, okay? And the easiest way to do that is to clamp it in. Can't reach my, my clothespins. Oh, and also real quick, before I forget, I'm gonna write top, okay? I'm gonna write top on there. All right, now. I need a template for punching holes through my signatures, and that's what this other piece of cardstock is going to be for. It's, I'm going to leave it nice and wide, and I'm going to fold it in half lengthways. Okay, and I'm going to trim it off the same height as my other template, okay, which is the same height as my signatures. So I'm just marking it down here. And I'm going to go ahead and write top on this. That way everything stays nice and lined up. And I'm going to run that through my paper trimmer. Okay. All right. So I've got a piece of cardstock now folded in half. Same height as this piece, which are both the same height as my signatures. Okay. Now I'm going to mark on there my five holes for my five hole pamphlet stitch. And it's easier instead of just going through and remeasuring to just lay it against my guide and make my marks. Okay, just like that. Easy as can be. Okay, so every one of those marks on there is going to be where we punch a hole for our signature. So I'm gonna set this off to the side with my signatures. Put this back on here. Okay, now I want to get it all lined up right where I want it to be. Kind of making sure it's in the middle between the top and the bottom. Okay. Check to make sure I have it centered in my spine. Okay, looks pretty good to me. All right, that's where I want it to go. I marked Dawn's clothespin on here, otherwise my clothespins disappear. They get used by other people, <laughs> mainly my husband and his crafts. Okay, well, I seem to have lost all my, my needles. I just dropped it on the floor. Okay, I'm just using an upholstery pen. I don't have an all. Um, just never figured and needed to buy one. I already had upholstery pins. So now that I've got this clamped nice and tight, let me double check one more time. One more time. Yep. OK, 
Okay, that's where I want it. All right, now I'm going to take my awl or pen, something like that, and I'm just gonna poke through every one of those intersections, okay? Every one of those. And you can kind of wiggle it if you want to because you wanna be able to see it. Okay, see where the hole is? See, when you're using light colored material, you can see the hole really well, because it leaves a dark spot. When you're using dark colored material, like that other cover, it's really hard to see the marks, and sometimes you need to mark them with a, a Sharpie in order to do that, and I just didn't want to struggle on camera today. You guys watch me struggle enough as it is. <laughs> okay, all right. And I'm just going to keep poking my holes and I kind of wiggle them and wiggle them around a little bit there. It won't hurt them. It's fabric. It kind of kind of closes itself up a little bit. Okay. And see my holes there? Okay. All right. So I'm just going to finish poking these through off camera and then I'll come right back. All righty. Got my holes all poked through. Now, I went ahead and I did mark on the back with a, a small fine point sharpie where my holes were, just to make them easier to find, especially because I'm doing this on camera. That's up to you. Um, my spine's going to get covered, so it doesn't really matter if I have that on there. So just that's what that is. All right. And then also, if you do this on a, like on a thin sheet of paper, like a, a tracing paper or tissue paper, excuse me, you could actually just leave this on here while you sew your signatures in so you have it as a guide and then when you're done you can rip it out you know behind your your signatures really easily um, if that helps you especially until you get used to doing that over and over again okay let's get our guide back out that we made okay and we're going to take our first signature okay and I've got a big old book here. <laughs> I've got like a like a big old phone book. It's not a phone book. College book of majors. <sighs> you use whatever you want. If you've got a, a um, oh, book cradle, you can use that. You don't have to use anything at all. You want to make sure that you've got everything in your signature exactly where you want it to be vertically. Okay. We're going to open it up to the center. And we're going to put our guide in there. Just like that. Now remember we said this was for the top. So I want to make sure that it meets especially where my top is on my signature. Okay, I'm just going to poke that in there. And then I'm using an upholstery pen. You can use an awl or whatever you have to poke your holes. And I'm just going to poke everywhere we made a mark on our little guide. Poke all the way through. And the phone book, or the big book like this, just kinda keeps everything nice and centered. If you need to, if you have a lot of pieces of paper in your signature, you may want to um, clip these together to keep anything from moving around on you. Okay, you can just take a, a binder clip or something and ow. <laughs> And you can clip your papers together if you want to. I don't usually, but I usually don't put any more than 10 pieces of paper in a signature. Okay, now let's get our thread out. I'm using just plain old upholstery thread. Not all-purpose thread. All-purpose thread's not very strong. I'm using upholstery thread. It's very strong. I can't, can't break it at all. Okay. You can, I know some people use waxed linen thread, that's fine too. Um, I just don't because to me upholstery thread's readily available. I don't have to order it online because um, I don't live close to any craft stores or places where I could buy that. Closest store is a Walmart, so I just use upholstery thread. And what I measured out there was three times the length of my signature. Okay, I went one, two, three, and then I doubled that. So two times. Three times the length of my signature and then double it up. Okay. Thread my needle. Oh, excuse me. 
Sorry about that. Pepsi. <laughs> I think I got it in there. I don't have my glasses. Okay. Thread my needle. And I'm just taking a little bit of wax here. You don't have to do this part either. I just think it makes the thread a little easier to work with. And I'm just pinching it down on my little block of wax and waxing my own thread. Okay. Helps keep your strings from getting tangled. I think it makes it easier to knot it. Just makes it easier to work with it. Let's get that out of the way. Let's bring our cover back in. Okay, and I'm not going to sew through mine because uh, that was cardstock that I used. So I am going to go ahead and take this off. And I hope I don't struggle too much on camera. All right, this is my first signature, so it needs to correspond with this first row. Okay, so on the back, when I'm flipping it over, it's going to look like I'm in the wrong row, but I'm not. Okay. So I'm going to start on this side, which is the left side when I flip it back the right way. And I'm going through the middle hole. Okay. The reason I'm, going, I'm starting on this side is I'm going to put all my knots back here because I'm covering all of this. If you're going to be putting your knots inside your signature because you're not covering this up and you want your knots, you know, you don't want your knots back here, then you need to start in the center here and go through this way okay so that your knots in there but I I want my knot back here okay oh I almost forgot and I always do almost forget real quick all my tails that are sticking out to keep me from um, pulling them through my book and making it easier to keep everything tight while I'm sewing just gonna tie a little paper clip on there okay just one time I want to get it back off Okay, I'm leaving a little bit of a tail, enough to tie a knot when I'm done. Okay. And now I can pull my threads as much as my little heart's content and I don't pull them through my cover. Because that's frustrating. Okay, and I'm going through the center hole on my signatures. Missed that one piece of paper there. That's okay. And the key to sewing your signatures in is to have patience, to take your time, don't get frustrated. Oops, pulled in one of my red threads from my, sorry, silk. Don't get frustrated and uh, just take your time, have patience with it. Don't just go jamming around with your needle. Okay, You don't want any extra holes than what you need. You don't want your holes any bigger than they have to be. All right, bring this back in. Okay, so I came up through this hole. Now I'm going to go down through this hole. Okay, so I'm going down through this hole here. And I'm just going to work my needle until I get it through the hole I originally made. I don't want to make any new holes. I'm pulling it nice and tight. And that's what that paper clip's for. It lets me pull things nice and tight without pulling my threads through. Okay, now I need to go through this hole here, which is this hole here. Okay, so I'm coming through there and right through here. And sometimes you'll miss a page or two, and that's okay. Just take your time. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Sounds like duck. Oop, caught my paper clip in there, didn't I? Okay. All right, that's the wax on my thread squeaking like that. All right, now I'm going back through this hole right here. Okay, back through. Now I'm being careful not to go through my thread. I want to go next to my thread. For my other stitch, I don't want to go through it. I want to come up next to it. Taking my time. There we go. All right. And now I'm going to go back down through the middle. 
again next to my thread, not through it. Okay. So you can kind of move it out of the way a little bit. So you want to go next to it, not through it. Okay. going through this hole right here okay uh-oh craziness going on in there so those of you that follow me on Instagram you might have seen we've got a new puppy she's uh, seven weeks old golden retriever so now we have two goldens and a beagle and I haven't decided if I'm crazy or <laughs> glutton for punishment <laughs> Nah, it's good. I stay home, so they just make the day even more fun. Lots of fun. So our other golden is uh, 17 months, I think. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hubby's peeking at me from outside through the window. <laughs> um. Walked up and smiled great big. Funny, have an audience. Anyway, our golden needed another playmate. So, we keep saying that we got the dog a puppy. But, anyway, I forgot how much that's like having an infant in the house again, you know? Alright, almost there. We're in the home stretch. Okay. Uh oh, she must be trying to run away from him. I hear him out there hollering. Come here. No, 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 no. <laughs> ah. It is. It has been an adventure since Thursday, I tell you. All right, now we're ready to tie our knot. So I've got my two loose ends. I've taken the paper clip off. Okay, I'm going to take this needle with my thread, and I'm going to run it underneath this stitching right here. Okay, run it underneath. And that lets me pull against it. Okay, it makes my knot easier to tie. Let me flip this around a bit. Okay, one. And two. And if you feel like doing it for good measure, you can run it back through the other side. And give it another good knot. Okay. Clip your threads, and because I'm going to cover this with some trim anyway, so that my stitches don't show, I am going to go ahead and just put a little dot of glue on there, just in case. I like to keep things nice and tight and, and secure, okay? So no worry that that's ever going to come undone. I'm not worried that it would anyway, but just some peace of mind, okay? So you're just going to do that again for your next four or however many signatures you have. I'm going to do it again for my next four signatures just like I just did. Okay, get them all sewn in there. And then in the next video when we come back, I'm going to show you how I'm uh, doing the trim on the spine and decorating this up just a little bit. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I know I, I can't always comment on every or reply on every single comment anymore. I do read every single comment you guys leave. So if you have a question, um, I have been trying to make sure I answer those. Um, and I am always, always glad to help. And uh, like I've told everybody, I don't have any secrets. Every bit of my knowledge that I've learned is free for the taking. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. I am happy, happy, happy to share. All right, have fun with this, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.